Hi guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer, playing Bayonetta, and right now we are going to do Chapter Nine, which is Paradiso: A Remembrance of Time. All right, let's go ahead. Graveyard of Remembrance Jesus, this is... My dear sweet child, fear not for I am watching you. Huh. I find it weird that she's supposed to be like... In the demon part, like she's not an angel, she's more like a demon. And she says, Jesus? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay, let's check this out. This clock face. I've seen it somewhere before. Ah, it's the same clock at the beginning of the game. A massive spirit energy at the same wavelength as the angels. It seems the spirit energy around here naturally gathered up to form this thing. This it allows her to jump from one platform to the next. I like how they play with gravity a lot in this game. I wonder if I should jump down to try and get that thing over there. Is it gonna work? Yes it is, alright. What the- what am I doing? <laughs> there you go. Are those all angels? Yep, they must be. I like the attention to detail in this game. Hmm, that looks like a statue of a mermaid. Probably gonna be a boss here. This is the same level as, well, it looks a lot like one of the levels at the beginning of the game. Oh, it does. Okay, I can use the key in here. I'll open up the sphere. The energy pouring out of the goddess statue has taken the shape of a ring and is spinning in the air. If it was capable of bringing something this big to life, then maybe it will react against my magic and give me a foothold. Oh, okay. It allows me to glide up to the sphere. I'm gonna stick... Wait, wait. Let me go down first. Let me have a look around before. 
Let's see if there's any hidden objects. Alright, a piece of disc. LP. Long play. It's like Venal Disc. Well, Quarantid. What is that? Never heard of that. I guess we'll hear the Venal Disc once we uh, go back to hell and talk to Rodin. Invisible wall there. This is such a beautiful level. Yeah, it's still an invisible wall. I guess I'm pretty much done. Let's go back in the center. Is there something here? Alright, let's climb this. Am I supposed to break the sphere? Oh, there's another one. Okay. Another key. I wonder where I'm supposed to go to. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go right here. Alright. Guess we're heading even higher up. Surprised there's no monster here. Looks like an arena. Alright, I'm gonna hurry down. Oh no! What was I supposed to do? Oh, I'm supposed to transform into a panther. I got it this time. The shadow remains cast. 
Let's try this again. Times R2 while running. Destroyed the whole thing. Yeah. What does this do? There's an ornate staff sticking out from that gear mechanism. It seems like one of the cogs may be missing. I guess I have to get one more piece. Ah, there it is. What happens if I go there first? The band of energy is cut off. Well, I guess this mechanism is gonna help us. <laughs> Pole dancing mechanism. <laughs> Oh, okay. I have to reunite the passage with the other passage. Kind of form a bridge. Almost there. Wait, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, stop. Perfect. Yeah, oh, we're headed back in town. Maybe it's the parallel universe of the other place we've been before. Okay, it's a piece of the key, so I guess I need to get all of them. Whoa! And I guess the key will be using the key right here.
There's probably gonna be a monster. Second I get all the keys. Megaton. 120. Stick to ski. Oh, I have to drop my other weapon. That kind of sucks. I'm just gonna have a look around first to see if there's like any hidden area that I wasn't able to go to. Doesn't seem to be. Hidden objects, maybe? Nope. Oh, look at that, you guys. We're gonna reach that place. Flo floating island there. Alright, I'm gonna save right here. So don't forget to save the animals, kick some monsters' butts, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.